What is up everyone? Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. So we're here in the Black Cave at the Foul Swamp. Let's go ahead and continue on through this area. Make another firefly. There we go. So like I was saying in the last episode, when we came here to the swamp, I was saying that, uh, I bet there's items out in the poison or whatever. I don't remember if there is or not. It's been so long since i played this game on 360. I don't really remember. Anyway, we can go across over here. Oh wait, what is this? That's another firefly. Alright, so it's actually the next day since the last recorded. Oh, let me slow it down there, my bad. Did I ever come over this way, or...? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, there's something here. Ooh, got some funny money, 500 G. Okay, is there anything up this way? I think there's a path, but can't get over there. Okay. So yeah, I kind of figured there'd be something uh, over that way, but uh, one thing to keep in mind, you do take damage whenever you step in that uh, poison. So just keep that in mind. I'm not sure if the longer you're in it, the more damage you take, or is it just like one uh, damage a second or whatever, but I wouldn't stand in it too long. By the way, I put Mac in the party. I don't know if it was this episode or the last end of, end of the last episode, but he grew level 23, now he's level 24 in that battle. I level up pretty fast since he uh, is so low level. Okay, Sarah learned Taunt and Ming learned Taunt. Nice. Alright, so now I'm focused on learning Spirit Magic Level 3. I already went that way. Okay, let's see if we can get up here. Hmm. Can we go around, maybe? Over here. Okay, here we go. There's a chest. Power drink. Yeah, it kind of slows you down, too. We lost our fireflies, too. Or fireflies, should I say. No, don't go in the poison. Alright, Mac leveled up again. Level 25. Oh, we learned a lot of abilities there. Holy crap. Kaim, Mac. Well, Mac doesn't really matter. Kaim, Seth, and Ming. I gotta change. Let's see what level 4 spirit magic we got, though. So we got Shado Shadoa. And then Fear. Inflicts terror on one enemy. So I think all the accessories I've maxed for... Um, Kaim and stuff, that's pretty good. They still need to learn more skills from the characters, but... Uh, they got all the ones from accessories. I still have to obviously learn more with... Uh, like I said, Kaim, or from, me, from Ming and Sarah, but... I uh, got them all with uh, common stuff, like I said. Anyway, this area is kind of like a maze, almost. I don't want—I don't want to miss anything, so I'm kind of taking my time here. Okay, let's go up this way. Okay, Sarah learned level three spirit magic instead of Ming. 
So I guess I'll put them on level two now then. Oh no, level four. We can get level four now. Shadow would actually be pretty good in this area. Actually, I think I'm going to have her heal. Even though she's out of the party, she can still heal, which is nice. So you basically you want to use your support characters, the guys, the people on the side, to heal your main party. That way you save MP in your main party. How do we go over there? Oh, right here. Nope. How do I get over to the right? I guess we gotta go through here. Is there seriously nothing over here? Wow. A dead end. Max, like I wish I was stronger. And then he levels up. You're now stronger, Max. Mac. Alright, so Max up level 26 now. Oh, he's surprising there's a lot of MP for him not really being a caster, I guess. Well, I guess he does have shadow magic. What am I talking about? But... So we're anti paralysis, nice. Alright, let's get out of this poison. We can either go up or we can go left and then up. Or west and then up. Let's go this way first. I don't know which path I'm supposed to take. Um we'll figure it out. The Great Hall of the Foul Creatures. Cutscene time. Not good. Run, run, or we'll be well done. Scroll of dissection. Okay. Cut down, inflicts damage on enemy front row and reduces enemy GC. So is that kind of like how what Seth or what, kind of what Kaim did in the first battle of the game? You know how he was like attacking multiple knights. Wonder if that's how that is. Oh, sure, you don't have to equip it. Once it's equipped as an accessory, you automatically get it. Forgot about that. I'm not sure if I was supposed to go this way or the other way, though, still. <laughs> I think we should go back because I think this seems like the way we gotta go. There's Sarah's stats right there. I haven't showed her, her stats off yet. A on casting, magic, attack, and MP. Pretty good. She's like one of the best casters in the game. If you look here, she has more magic attack than um, Ming. Uh, her casting time's the same. They got the same MP as well. You think casters would have more MP though? Like, why do they have less MP than Kaim and stuff? Casters need good in good magic defense. And like every game they have high magic defense, casters do. And this game they're like, no, 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 we're going to give casters low MP. I guess because they figure they're going to be in the back row and they didn't want them to take too, too few of damage, I guess.
Oh, this is a dead end. Alright, I'll meet you guys back in the other hell trap then. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Alright, let's continue to let's go through this area. Okay. Look around here. Items are pretty hidden in this area, so it's kind of hard to see them a lot of the times. What is the point in that? Alright, Mac leveled up there, level 27. And we learned a bunch of spells there and stuff. Like, why is there two paths here? Is there, like, anything over here? No. Okay, let's continue on then. Aha! Just there we get Refresher. Recovers the HP of a royal party members. Okay, we got a pretty open area here. Okay, another one of these monolith things. I guess we'll have to come back later for those. They're like for a side quest, I guess. Okay, I learned a bunch of skills there. And pretty much max final skill as well so now I'm gonna probably bring in Jansen to get his stuff for Kaim and Seth since I've already uh, got all Cook's stuff as you can tell here oh no wait there's one more? oh I need spirit magic level 4 okay so we're not done yet my bad I thought I was done I was actually not learning anything there, oops. For them too. Okay. He learned cut down, so I'll go ahead and give that to Seth there. Very nice. Now Seth can get cut down. I might want to set that up too. I don't know if that's good or not. Um, yeah, I'm good. It's whatever. Would like to get relax for me. Relax is a really good ability. Oh, I can get another uh, firefly here. Glad I did too, because finding powder. I wonder if I actually missed items in the previous area because I didn't have the firefly. Probably did.
Okay, so I was probably supposed to go the other path, wasn't I? But we can go up and save it. And... Okay, I'm going to go back to the other path. Oops, there's a chest here. I didn't even see it. No seed. I don't even know what seed we're at right now, guys, because... I forgot how many I, ha I had put in the pit pot. We'll have to wait to find the next pit pot in order to figure out... If I missed any or not. But I do want to go over this way. Okay, here we go. See where this leads to. I'm assuming it leads to an optional area because the save point's back the other way, so... Oh, this is he's back here. I remember over here in this corner where I thought there might be something. I wonder if there actually is because I lost the firefly if you remember correctly. Nope, nothing here. Alright, I'll meet you guys back in the other path then. Alright, Mac leveled up there, level 28. And then we learned... Or he learned Spirit Magic level 5. Uh, Sarah and Ming learned Spirit Magic level 2. And then Ming learned anti Kelolon. Alright, I made my way back to the save point. I fought another battle though. And we learned a bunch of stuff as you can tell. Gonna have to equip something new. Here, and there's a save point right up ahead here. I'll go ahead and save it again. And I'll set up my new skills. And then we'll continue on. Alright, let's continue on here. Take it the bosses up ahead. Since there's a save point there. Just my guess. I don't remember. Nope, not yet. Anything down here? Nope, just a dead end, okay. Thanks for putting hallways down that do that lead to nothing. What is knock over a trash can? No. I don't know what's going oh crap. Uh great electricity. Oh, who turned out the lights? something there's something there not good can't be serious now this is more like it there's only one way out we have to go through them follow me You want some? Come get some. How hard could they possibly be? I put Cook in the party because I thought we were fighting a ball soon, but... Alright, so we have Rough... Rough Eater. They're Earth Element, so that means they're weak to wind, probably. So we'll take care of that. Um, get stark or sharp peaks and drops in them. Yeah. 
Okay, they do hit pretty hard. Whether they're going after Kami, usually they go after Seth because she has lower defense. Let's see here, I guess I'll do Zephyr. Do win to finish that one off. Party healed up, Cook. Oh, they got they got poison out of their attacks too, apparently. Actually, I want Seth to attack the one I use window on. I should be able to finish it off. Perfect. I'm guessing they just to put a bunch of status elements in their physical attacks. I'm guessing that's what it is. Well, I'll be able to finish off the battle here. Got him. See how much EXP you get for these things. That seemed like a needless battle. Did I get any EXP at all? Okay. Sarah and Ming learn concentrate and Ming learn critical heal. I'm gonna put back in Mac though because um I thought we were fighting a boss, so. I want to put back in Mac because there's still skills I need to learn with uh, I was just going to put him in the back row I don't really care what row he's in but there's still move there's still one more ability I need to learn oh with um, Kaim and Seth Basically, how I have it set up is I have um, four immortals and one character I just swap in and out. That's typically what I did when I played on 360. And I recommend you do the same because you want as many immortals in your party as possible. So that way you can max them out, learn all the skills and everything. Obviously, I'm going to cut the battles out against the other ones, but we're going to head through this area. It's like a whole army of these things. Okay, Sarah learned a couple things there. Ming learned power hit as well. Turn my AC on, by the way, guys, because it's getting hot in here. Alright, next up is combo. I just learned an order. I don't really care what ability we get. Honestly. Like, 
I don't really care. I'm just learning all the abilities. That's typically how I play this game. I don't care what we learn. <laughs> one more EXP till next level. What if I one more of those things? Okay, cutscene time it looks like. Find the leader. Right over there it is. I bet. But it's that red one. Alright, common Seth leveled up there. Level 29. Mingler, lucky zero magic damage. something else there cooked a little healing there all right let's continue this way I guess oh crap better keep up oh. dang it it went after me all right Sarah and Ming leveled up there Trying to run from them, guys. There's the leader right there. We'll take it out, but I need to equip some new stuff. Here we go. I don't know if this is a boss battle or not. Yeah, I'll probably put this is a boss battle. I think this is a boss battle. Alright, it's boss time against four rough servants and one rough queen. So what I want to do is do this. We'll do, we'll attack Seth in the, the second one, which is B. Then we'll do wind on B. We then want to do gamble on A. And then wind on A as well. I don't have wind uh, on Ming or else it'd be a lot better. I should have put shield on everybody too. I think that would have been handy. Pheromone. One of them got no frenzy, one of them got jealous. Or the other three got jealous. Nice. And then Gamble should finish that one off, if it does a lot of damage, that is. Nope, do a low amount. Every now and then you get a low amount of damage. A lot of the times I've been getting, like, uh, more damage, though, a lot of the times. But it's fine. It doesn't need to do a lot of damage every time. I think I can finish that one off with Wind, with Ming. So I think we'll focus on... Taking the other ones out. And then Ming can finish off A. Ah, oh, missed. <laughs> Jealousy, they actually attack each other. Their damage is so low, it's like... Barely took it out. Come on, finish it. Oh, nice. There you go. Good job, Mac. Okay, one of my characters got petrified, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And as for Mac, we'll just do Gamble on the Queen, I guess. Yeah, we'll do Gamble on the Queen. 
We'll do a good cure petrify on Sarah. Okay, cry summons more allies, okay. okay. Uh, I said okay and then Ming says okay. Uh, low amount of damage that time. I think I want to take a turn to heal here. I think I'm going to use some healing herbs. On those two at least. And... Hmm. Yeah, let's attack the queen. We could probably finish off the queen here, honestly. Okay. Gotta make sure our HP stays healed up there. That rush attack does a lot of damage, but... It's alright, keep coming summoning your allies, that's fine, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. There we go, got it. Rough Queen defeated. Now he's gotta feed the other enemies, it shouldn't be too bad. Well, it could be bad if they spam a rush or whatever, but... I guess I have those two defend. Do a good window on that one, I guess. I'll use a healing herb on Seth there. I feel like healing with herbs is better because it's faster. Time is blinded, that's why you missed. I stuck that one down. Okay, I guess I could do wind on that one. Yeah, I could just finish him off with magic, I think. Actu actually, no. Yeah, I think, yeah, we could do this. The old Mac. And then Wind. Finish that one off. As long as Kaim hits. The battle should end. Well, actually, Seth needed to hit. And Seth did hit, so we're good. There we go. And the window will finish off the last one. There we go. Got them all. And for defeating that boss, you get 5,000 gold. Wow. You also get a slot seed and a sharp beak and 14 SP. Pretty good. Nice, Kaim learned a lot there. Sarah, Kaim and Seth learned. Sarah learned. And so did Ming. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna go back to the save point and in the episode here. In the next episode, we'll finish off the Black Cave, more than likely. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.